Hey everybody, I hope that you're continuing to keep safe. Welcome back to Draw Cartoons. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through how to draw faces, but at different angles. Now this one is probably a little bit more challenging than you might expect, but don't worry. My video is gonna walk you through every single step of the way and explain it as I go, as I always do. So make sure you watch the whole video, no skipping around or you'll miss out the really important parts. If you end up enjoying this video, I would love it if you throw down a like and also subscribe to the channel to help it grow. Every single subscription is an awesome way to boost this channel. I really do appreciate it. With that said, let's go. So every single one of these is going to begin with drawing a circle. Um, it doesn't have to be a completely perfect circle, but it helps if you get it as round as you can. And then within that circle, this is where we pick the direction that our character is going to be looking in. So whether you start with a horizontal line or the vertical line doesn't really matter, but try your best to picture the circle as a sphere, like a round object. This is looking a bit like a Pokeball. If I put like a circle here, it looks like a Pokeball. So try and picture it like a Pokeball first, if that helps, or any other kind of round object with a line, uh, a line through it. Um, but personally, I find that helps me. And then you want to draw a line down the center of where the face is going to be. Now, because this character is looking down, I want this line to extend a bit off the edge of the circle, down to where the chin is going to be, or roughly there. So now you might find it useful to actually draw in where the eyes are going to be. So start by drawing one eye and you draw a kind of semicircle coming up from that that horizontal line that you drew before, just a semicircle that comes up and over. How big that is, is completely up to you. And it's all down to how big your character's eye is. I'm going for kind of like a medium, typical kind of cartoony sized eye here. So with that one in place, draw the other one, and this is where it gets really tricky because you have to try and get this eye more or less the same size, but also taking into account the fact that it's further across the face than this one. So something I've covered in previous videos, the side of the face that's closer to you will appear to be bigger when you draw it. In, in actual fact, it's not bigger, but it just looks bigger because it's closer to us. So now that we have this in place, we can start to draw in the uh, rest of how the face looks here. So I'm going to start by bouncing a little cheek off here, round it out. I'm going for a very, very kind of youthful, bouncy looking character here. Bring it down to a point at the chin, at the bottom of that line if you want it there, and then just angle it back up, give it a bit of a ever so slight change of direction there if that makes sense. It just begins to angle up and then we get an ear and quickly how to draw that ear is another kind of semicircle, or rather a C shape, and the top part of that ear sits on that line there, in a lot of characters anyway. I mean, again, it depends on the ear that you're looking for. Um, you could go for a huge ear that ends a bit higher up or something like that in a fantasy characters. But for this particular cartoon, I'm going to end the ear on that horizontal line so that it lines up with the bottom of the eyes if the character were to be looking to the side, for example. So I'm just gonna add a small detail to that ear because it's bugging me <laughs> if, I, if I don't do that. So now let's pick a direction for the eyes. I'm gonna stick with the one I did in my example instead of uh, fixing it or changing it. So I'm gonna have them both going the same way. You don't have to in yours, uh, but it does save them looking a bit cross-eyed uh, or, or otherwise if, uh, if they are looking in the same direction. And then just a little blob for the nose. Nothing special here. That's not what, really what we're focusing on today. I have done a tutorial on how to draw noses, but I'm just gonna draw a little blob here and make sure the nose is in a similar direction to where the face is facing. So you don't wanna be drawing a nose that's that way, otherwise it'll look a bit broken. And now just a little smile. So now we've got a character facing this way and this is gonna take several tries. Um, it's something that you have to get used to doing and practice it quite a lot. And that's why I made this video to make that all a bit easier for you. Now I'm gonna do one where the character's looking a bit up and to the side. So this one I'm, uh, I'm gonna try and keep it a bit more to my ex original example here. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna change it slightly. So I'm gonna again have the horizontal line and I'm going to have it curving around, and again we get this kind of ball, this kind of pokeball, like a capsule. Okay, wrapping around. And what's most important is you get it right at the front of the face. And now a line that comes down and ends just about here, just outside of the circle, because the, uh, the chin is raised in this one, the chin's not going to be as low down as it was in this example. 
It's going to be a bit higher because our character is looking up. So again, we need to draw some semicircles in for those eyes. And they sit on that midline. And this is probably the most valuable tip of this whole tutorial, really, is getting those eyes to sit on that midline through the center of the head. Um, and every character is different. Uh, it's all kind of down to how you want to draw them. They might look completely different. There are characters that aren't even human, for instance. Um, so the rules of this tutorial will not really apply to them. I've just drawn a small bobbin for the nose there. I'm going to draw that to the chin. And now for my ear, I'm actually going to kind of break the rule with my circle here. I'm going to come through the circle and up so that I can get the ear to sit on that line there, if that makes sense. Do you remember how I did this before? That line sitting there. That's the rule I'm going to stick with this, uh, for this particular character, and you will find many cartoon characters have that exact same thing going on where they that part of the ear where it reattaches to the head it sits along this line here which denotes the bottom of the eyes so i'm gonna have my character kind of looking wistfully up like this maybe they look at and some uh, some trees or something like that whatever you want them to be looking at you can do whatever you like with the mouth but make sure it follows the curve of the face um, otherwise their mouth is going to look a bit detached and a bit unnatural there we go. Let's get rid of some of these guidelines so it's all a bit more obvious. So, maybe you want to pack out the back of the head a little bit because the back of this character's head's a bit small, so you might want to add, you know, a tiny bit more going on there, make the head a little bit higher. Okay. The back of the head is a bit bigger than you might think, even on cartoon characters, um, so make sure it's not too flat looking at the back. I've just padded mine out a bit because I've realised it was a bit too small. And now I'm going to go for one who's basically looking to the side but ever so slightly up, just ever so slightly up, and you're going to see the difference here. So again, I'm going to draw a circle, and now I'm going to draw a line through the middle of that circle, or rather a sphere, because a circle is a 2D sphere. You need to think of these as spheres. You have to think of them as balls, like um, 3D objects. Okay, so now, again, I'm going to start with the semicircle. It's more like a hump, really, or half an egg. Okay, and line down like this. To about there. Let's get the other semicircle in there as well. And now I can draw a cheek coming out from just underneath that eye down to that point there. Where that point ends up, again it's up to you, but don't go too far below the face or otherwise you're going to end up with the crimson chin or something like that. And uh, unless you're drawing the crimson chin, you might not want that chin to be too, um, too massive. <laughs> Maybe not. It's your drawing. So again, just a little detail on the ear here, just because it's out of habit at this point. So again, a little blob to the nose there, and that same smile. I'm not going to vary the expressions too much, as you can see in this tutorial, because it's purely an exercise in direction and not expression. I could do something on expression in the future again, if you guys want combining the eyes and the uh, mouth tutorials that I've done. But this one's just to help you kind of pick a direction, you know? So basically more of the same. I'm going to go for one who's looking up again, um, just because looking up is, in my opinion, it's the hardest one to draw by quite a mile. <laughs> it's, uh, it gets easier the more you do it, but drawing characters looking up, if you get that right on your first try, you must be some kind of prodigy, <laughs> because uh, drawing a character looking up, that is very, very difficult for some reason. I think it may have something to do with the fact that... Um, in, in, once you're an adult, you don't really end up looking up at people very much anymore, do you? So your point of reference for that is kind of gone. Um, but I guess if you're little, yeah, you're, you're probably still going to be looking up at people because you, you know, you're not, you're not really tall enough to do otherwise yet. So there we go, just more of the same, linking that ear in. And as you can see, this all just it gets a bit faster, it gets a bit easier the more you do it. I'm speeding up a bit now because I think you guys have got the point. Um, but if not, feel free to reverse, feel free to rewind or slow it down. You do have speed controls on the video. Add a little eyebrow here, why not? So again, another one looking up, not quite as high as that one, but just kind of looking up this way. And one that's looking down to finish. Okay, so again, I'm going to draw that ball. Remember, it's a sphere, it's a ball, it is not a circle. Um, and it's quite hard to visualize that, I know, um, especially when you're starting out. But you have to do it if you're going to improve the way that you draw cartoons. Even I've kind of messed up my circle a bit here. Oh no, I called it a circle. It's not a circle. It's a sphere. <laughs> Caught myself doing it that time. So now bring the chin fairly far down, much further down than these, as you can see, because the chin is not raised, the chin is dropped. 
So I'm drawing it a bit further down. Now a semicircle here. There we go. Just kind of loosely sketching that in. And again, try and get them the same size as each other. That is easier said than done. You can have these two eyes focusing on something in the middle this time, just because I feel like varying it up, so why not? And now, a cheek. Again, just kind of bumping out from the side of the face. Bring this up and to an ear. That sticks out, that ear might need to be a little bit lower down, actually. There we go. And again, it meets up with the. Add a little detail. Okay, going to add a little curve there so the face doesn't look like there's a big kind of cyst hanging off it. And another bumpy little nose like that. And a smile. And there you go. So feel free to experiment with this. I want you guys to try all kinds of different angles. Maybe straight down, maybe straight up. That you want to uh, just kind of experiment with it and just try all kinds of different directions and angles. Um, these are just kind of five that I've whipped up here. I did have a look online and have a look at some tutorials that showed uh, exactly the same way and I agree with the workflow. I think it's a great way of drawing faces and um, which is where this one's come from. So I hope that was really useful and I can't wait. You know what I'd love guys, I'd love for you to draw your own versions of these and throw them in the Discord and show me your progress. I would love to see them and don't expect your first try to be amazing because it will not. Your first try will likely be bad, but that's fine. You have to be bad at something, or even just okay at something before you can absolutely kill it. So don't worry if it sucks. Um, I still want to see your journey. I still want to see how you improve from drawing to drawing. So yeah, I can't wait to see that, guys. And for now, I'm just going to throw you the outro. Got a few entries on the Discord to show you guys now. So let's get to that right now. And so it's time to have a look at some of the art in the Discord channel. Okay, here we go. 25 Inches in the Discord has brought us this really cool drawing of a character they've called Pigman. I really like the pose, it's very, very energetic, and that's a wonderful start. Can't wait to see more from you, pal. Dragon Studios has given us this really cute little drawing of a cat called Spot. I love the uneven eyes and the splotch of fur on the belly. It's a lovely design. Look at the size of that head as well, very cartoony. And that's what I'm all about on this channel. That's what we're all about. Thank you very much, Dragon Studios. Eli drew Rango, and it reminded me that I have to watch this film. Again, if you haven't seen it, you, you definitely have to. It's, it's worth your time. This drawing is vibrant. I love the complimentary colors used on it. And Rango's expression, sometimes, you know what? I can really relate to that. <laughs> this is really good, Eli. Great job. Foxy has brought us the very novel concept of combining Thanksgiving with Among Us and the result is very colourful and a heck of a lot of fun. I love the kind of pattern of red, orange, yellow along the tail as well. It's very, very uh, unique, very interesting and looks fantastic. This is awesome. Great work, Foxy. Norpus has gone back in time here with a really cool old style, old fashioned, almost cuphead style sort of illustration here. I love these. They're very cute and they're very, very expressive. Those huge eyes. Uh, they, they really tell a story. Fantastic drawing, Norpus. I love this. And a coloured illustration, fully digitally done by the looks of it, from Dragon Studios. Absolutely love the shade and the details of the fur on this character. This is fantastic. I've not seen anything quite like it. But I love how this looks. Please keep it up. I can't wait to see more from you. Haido's been working on their poses, and I've got to say, it's really, really paying off. Keep going at it. You're going to have those absolutely perfect in no time if this is anything to go by. Really awesome, Haido. I absolutely love it. Maminos has done this really nicely coloured and very well illustrated anime style slash manga style drawing. I I'm not sure who the character is. I haven't looked them up, but I love this all the same. Mimonos, keep it up. This is absolutely fantastic. Shadow drew some faces and expressions and they came out utterly fantastic. I love the variety here, the different sizes of eyes. This is a really, really good way to be working on expressions and the practice is really paying off. Really, really nice. I can't wait to see more. Sleepy Boy made me laugh with this one. This is an absolutely fantastic drawing of Fat Thor uh, all the way from Avengers Endgame. Uh, th I mean, this is just fantastic. Amazing work. Really nice one. Dragon Studios did this drawing of their own character, and I have to say, I really, really love it. It's a shame the contrast doesn't show too much on the photograph, but we can see there's a really, really nice illustration here and a great pose to go with it. Really nice, Dragon Studios. Great work. 
Sleepy Boy has been absolutely knocking it out of the park with this art. It honestly just speaks for itself. Look how phenomenal this is. I love this. Sleepy Boy, I can't wait to see what you draw next. I always love to see your stuff in the Discord. Keep it up. Freddo over in the Discord did this really, really cool orange Among Us with the jack-o'-lantern slash pumpkin on the head and also a bit of a sharp weapon in the hand. That is a very terrifying looking imposter, if you ask me. This is wonderful stuff and also I'm very partial to orange, if you haven't already figured that one out. But yeah, thank you very much for the submission, Freddo. I love this. Norpus did this really awesome, absolutely on-model picture of Quagmire McDuck. I've never heard of Quagmire myself and I'm ashamed to admit that, but it looks like it was pretty much drawn by someone from Disney. This is looking absolutely spectacular. You've really got this style nailed down. Great work there, Norpus. Rudra is currently working on their anatomy and posing here, and I love the way this one is turning out. The angles on the arms and fingers make me think of something quite digital going on here, and the character also seems to be missing an eye. I wonder where that got to. Really nice work, Rudra. I can't wait to see more from you. Foxy working on their motion and poses here, and it's really paying off. There's like a, also kind of a stylized grey line squiggle going on in the background. It somehow just really enhances how this looks. I'm not even sure. But those poses are absolutely on point. Keep going, Foxy. I love where this is going. Electron absolutely killing it with this portrait. Look at the light reflecting off the hair here. This is absolutely fantastic. Electron, I really can't wait to see more. Shadow did this ultra impressive drawing in Photoshop of an anime character, that hair and those eyes. They're mesmerizing. I can't wait to see more from you. This is blowing my mind. Everybody, you're doing so well. And how about that? There's some really fantastic work in the Discord. Sometimes I can barely keep up with you guys. You're so productive. And all of you are coming on leaps and bounds. It's incredible to watch. So for the next video, I would love you guys to put your entries in the Discord for this. Try following this tutorial and drawing faces at different angles, exactly the kind of way that I've done it in this video, or any way that you like if you feel the tutorial didn't quite do it for you. But either way, I would love to see faces at different angles, different directions in the Discord, and I'll show as many of them as I can in my next video. If you haven't joined the Discord already, please consider doing so. There is a link in the description of this video just down below. But with that, guys, I'm going to say over and out, and I'll catch you in the next video. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Bye for now.